David Carlton, a true freshman, will kick off. And back deep, Antonio Carter and Freddie Millens for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Here's Carlton's kick. It's a dandy. Drives Millens deep into the end zone. That'll be a touchback. And the Crimson Tide of Alabama will take over at their own 20-yard line. And already, a little extracurricular activity breaks out at the 25-yard line. Give it to the fullback. There's a fumble picked up by Arkansas. Razorbacks have it on the first turnover of the game inside the 40-yard line. Marvin Brown lost the fullback. The football, Carlos Hall, number 55, was there. Second down from the 30, the handoff tally. Gets into the secondary and is knocked out of bounds. They are dead last among NCAA Division I schools in offense. 150 because of plays like that. That's Kendall Moorhead. And Fred Talley in the eye behind Sorahan on second down and 12. Here comes the blitz. Sorahan comes right side. He's got a man open. That's George Wilson, number 88. Talley and Pierce. Still in the eye, double tight end set. Tally cuts back and runs right into the hands of Salim Rashid, number 11. Brennan O'Donohoe will try the field goal from 22 yards out. He's one of one this season. And he knocks that home. So the Razorbacks able to get on the scoreboard first. They recover the Marvin Brown fumble, but have to settle for three. Now here is Tyler Watts operating out of the shotgun. Tony Jones, there's the draw play coming left side. Big hole. And Ahmad Galloway moves it and motors down the left side for a gain of 11. And Tyler Watts has done it very well so far. Now Santonio Beard, number 34, who sneaks in, has a big hole and rumble to the 41-yard line of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Gain of 15 for Beard. A sophomore from Nashville. Now Collins in motion, wearing number seven. Lead play, Ahmad Galloway. The junior from Millington, Tennessee. Goes over right guard, right tackle, and gets inside the 35. Marvin Jackson, Ken Hamlin combined for the tackle. Millens in motion on second and nine. Play action. Watts has a man wide open. Marvin Brown fumbled on his first carry and now drops a catch for a sure touchdown. Third and nine at the 30. Watts will come left side. He's got a man open. That's Jason McCadley. Great effort by McCadley. Galloway, touchdown! About midway through the drive, he came off the field with him. Lane Bearden does the kickoff chores for the Crimson Tide. This one gathered in at the one by Richardson. Coming right, nice open field special teams play. Joe Trenary won the figure skating world championship in 1990. I just uh, had a senior moment. <laughs> Out of the left, Roberto McBride with the defensive play. That was a, a good example of that right there. Brandon Holmes has come in now, listed on the depth chart as the number three tailback. Sorahan puts it out to the left side. Richard Smith down the sidelines and out of bounds across the 45 and the 47. Reggie Miles got him, but a gain of 18. Alabama leads it 7-3, final 65 seconds of the opening quarter. Play fake, Sorahan. Boy, he was hit. And a good defensive play at the point of reception. Not a McKay Lozier. Drew a feed on Sorahan. Be interesting to see how Sorahan comes back from that hit right there. Here is Richie Butler had a punt blocked in this encounter between the two teams last year. Sends this one into the end zone. That will be a touchback. And Tyler Watts goes from the spread formation. Carter in motion. Flip it out left side for Galloway. It's a little too high, and he was going to be nailed well short of the first down at any rate. Step right back in the game. So Arkansas gets it back on fourth down now. Here's Lane Bearden back to punt. 
And Marvin Jackson to return it. So it should get good position here. Nice kick. Jackson drifts back and grabs it at 25, but he's got a little room. Straight up the center, down nice to the 37-yard line. Yes, That's a good was. return, Vern, because that was not set up to return. That was set up to go for the block. Arkansas sold out and tried to get to the punt, and he was all by himself and made the most of it. For a hand. One deep back. That's Kelly. He fakes to him. Comes left. And Salim Rashid nails him for a loss at the 30-yard line. Play fake. Sorahan pulls up, gets a good block, has a man open at the 39-yard line. The tackle made by uh, McBride as Sparky Hamilton makes it. Third down. Sorahan under pressure. Got it at the 30-yard line. Moorhead was one of two who got there. The other, Kenny King, 54 and 55. To go the distance. Waits at the 30. And this is a fine punt by Butler. That chases Millers all the way back to the 15-yard line. And good downfield coverage from which he cannot escape. It's Ahmad Carroll, the freshman cornerback out of Atlanta, Georgia. Third and one. Alabama two of three on third down conversions in the early going here. And they'll test the middle. Galloway appears to have gotten the first down. See where the spot is here. You know what? Ah, fourth down. Beg your pardon. So on fourth down, Lane Bearden on to punt, and Marvin Jackson drifts back to the 30. Jackson, the junior from Galveston, played last year at Navarro Junior College. And a whistle prior to the snap. Delay of game call against Alabama will cost him five. He preaches organization, discipline, Attentiveness. And another penalty. Here's Bearden. Jackson moves up, grabs it at the 39-yard line. Good special teams play. There's a flag that has been thrown on the far side of the field at the 46-yard line, where he also played two years. Second down. Sorahan, right side. That's going to be good for a first down. George Wilson makes the grab at the 11. He's got Wilson to the right side and Richard Smith split left. Backs in the eye. Sasha Lancaster in the fullback. And Tally gets into the secondary. Reggie Miles gets hold of him and knocks him down. But it's a 12-yard pickup for the suddenly inspired Arkansas Razorbacks. Sorahan has two wide receivers to the left side. He's going to be nailed. Got him again all the way back to the 49-yard line. Jarrett Johnson, number 96, and Kenny King got there to put a punctuation mark to it all. You know, the interesting thing, too, is Houston Nutt told us last year it was easy choosing who to play because they went down one after another injury-wise. This year, they're all healthy, and it's a matter of trying to, to balance out between the three, get them all the football. Mellon grabs it at the 15, looks for room, doesn't find any. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Brandon Holmes was the first man down. They were not, despite the... Uh, story tradition of their respective programs not regular rivals until 1992 when Arkansas joined the SEC left side Watts that's going to work for the first down Antonio Carter who has been the leading receiver in the first two games for this team and uh, no wasted time or effort second down and eight Watts has Carter and Carter has room first down at the 42 yard line well, they're going to line up in field goal formation, but this one's no, 57 yards out. This is going to be a pooch kick. Right. Neil Thomas. He shows what we know. Well, the reason they didn't burn is because Arkansas was ready for it. They had a guy back. Here's Cedric Cobb. As, uh, as you spoke. There's a fumble. And it is picked up. Reggie Miles for Alabama. Sean Toure forced to fumble. Reggie Miles, a senior from Pascagoula, 
38 yard fumble return for the TD. Here is the kick taken by Richardson at the 10 yard line. And he gets out to the 24, perhaps the 25. And let's take another look at the Cobbs carry and the subsequent fumble return. Well, we have to give credit where credit's due. Sean Touré made the first contact, but it was Aries Monroe coming from the backside, number 22, that was able to get his hand in there and strip the ball out. So a nice play by both Sean Touré from the front and Aries Monroe from behind caused the fumble. Tally out with a slight injury. Cobbs fumbling on his first carry. Here's Sora hand. Boy, that was close. Oh, my. Roberto McBride had vision yeah. the defensive back. The pass is complete. Second and five. 340 to go, first half. Here's Storahan, has time, side arms it, left side. He's got Wilson open. And Wilson walks the tightrope before being forced out of bounds at the 48-yard line. High formation on second and 10. Quick setup. He's got a man open, left side. It's Wilson with another catch. And Roberto McBride with a the tackle. They're down 11 points. We're getting close to the end of the half, and they're moving the football. A touchdown here would do wonders for the Hogs. Holmes goes right and cracks the 20-yard line. He's down at the 19. Salim Rashid and others there to make the stop. Fourth and one at the 16. Arkansas will go. Holmes the deep back. Gets the handoff. Cuts up inside, and he is uh, inside the 10 for a first and goal. Huge play, Burns. Holmes has been the leading ball carrier. He's the deep back in the eye. Brandon Holmes hit. Got it. Touchdown, Arkansas. That's power. That's all that is. That's power and, and getting it in the end zone. They won the toss and deferred to the second half, so Lane Bearden will kick off for the Crimson Tide. Richardson and Ahmad Carroll are the two deep men. There is Richardson, number one. Bearden's kick will be taken by Richardson at the six-yard line. Nice to leave at the 20, and he is down at the 21-yard line. He is in the cockpit right now. Brandon Holmes, one yard, if that. Roberto McBride makes the tackle, number 19. Dorahan with pressure from Kenny King. Now more pressure from Jared Johnson. And finally the task is completed by Kendall Moorhead. So three members of the Crimson Tide had a part in the play. Butler deep in the end zone will try and punt it away. And remember, two snaps have not been very good for Arkansas. This is a good one. Here's Butler's punt, nice and high. And a fair catch taken by Millen. Football! That's a penalty, Burns. He didn't give him two yards. Flag is dropped at the 40. Yeah, interference with the ability to make the fair catch by Arkansas. Go, man, I think that was Josh Foliard who was down the there and was not able to get away from Freddie Millen. First and 10 from the 35. Carter is wide to the right. Millen to the left. Watts backs up. Flips it out for his tight end. And Terry Jones Jr. rumbles inside the 15. Back to the eye on first and 10 from the 12. This is Collins in motion. Galloway gets the handoff and uh, <laughs> stiff resistance. Jason oh, Ball, what a, what a stop there. That's, uh, Jones in motion. Draw play, Galloway hit behind the line and smothered. A nice play by Jermaine Brooks. Watts, under pressure again, spins out of the tackle, but he is caught for a loss at the 19, and uh, the Crimson Tide will have to settle for a try for three. Jermaine Petty and Caleb Miller. Neil Thomas with his second field goal attempt of the afternoon. He missed earlier from 57. This 36 yards out. Jonathan Ritchie is the holder. Third and three. A 
Again, right arm. And the catch is made. Richard Smith. Big gain across the 50 and down to the 49-yard line. See him protect the ball at the end of the play. First down and 10. Play fake. Pressure. Kendall Moorhead. Sorahan cannot regain his balance. He's down. Big loss. Back to the 50-yard line. High and toward the right, but that's very short. Arkansas gets a break, and it rolls inside the 15. Comes to rest at the 10. Millen's in the game right here. Got to find ways to get him the football. Millen's matched up against Richardson, and they go to Millen. Tries to get behind Richardson, but does not accomplish it. Lawrence Richardson. Lawrence Richardson. Collins in motion. Right side. Catch is made. Antonio Carter. Lawrence Richardson at the 21. One yard short of the first down. That day. Here's the punt on fourth down. It's blocked. It is blocked. Jimmy Beasley, Vern, I think is the guy who got in there. Yes, Back indeed. Up. Back up outside linebacker. A very quick young player. Played at North Little Rock High School. And a huge play by the Arkansas special teams. In a defensive battle, special teams can turn it around. Here he is, right here in the middle. Watch this move. Right up the gut. And a full extension. That's just an excellent effort by Jimmy Beasley. Timing his jump and getting his full extension and his hands on the football. I mean, he barely got that. Short field. When you get it down in this position, you've got to capitalize. Your defense, your special teams make a big play. You must capitalize as an offense. On second down and seven. That one is almost picked off. It is not, but it was knocked down by Brooks Daniel, number 18. Now it is picked up. Amazing. Todd Bates winds up with it. Well, they must be calling this a fumble or a lateral. It looked to me like it was an incomplete pass. That's what I thought. Honestly. Was the running back or the receiver behind him or in front of him? And then the correct call by the yeah. officiating crew. And it an, was a lateral. And an excellent play by Brooks Daniels to get his hands on the football. Now watch. Backs up. Wants to go for it all. Finds Miller's wide open. Bearden will kick off. Nice and high. And taken out by Richardson, who reaches the 10. And then is cut down at the 15-yard line. Fourth down. And Freddie Millens retreats to the 15-yard line. Awaiting the Richie Butler punt. Tackled at the 25-yard line. A tackle made by Jimmy Beasley. A seven-yard return of a 38-yard punt. And in the meantime, I think there was a fumble on the play, and it would appear from the uh, reaction that Arkansas has recovered. Well, Marvin Brown fumbled earlier in the ball game, and he gets the ball again and fumbles again. And Jermaine Petty, the middle linebacker, is the guy who made the contact. For the second time, strips the ball out in Arkansas with a big play. From the 50, first and five. Brett Talley escapes trouble behind the line and motors down to the 40-yard line. What a move by Brett Talley. Four-man rush for Alabama, deep across the middle, almost intercepted. Wayne Bacon, 24. Freddie Millens camps at the 10. Butler will sail this one over his head and into the end zone. Touchback. It comes out to the 20 yard line. Watch 
keeps it there on Galloway. It is Watt. He fooled me completely. On cue, they talk <laughs> about him not running the ball, then he carries yep. it for his third time. So. Marvin Jackson back to return the punt. Here's Lane Bearden. A flag is dropped. Jackson chased all the way back to the 17-yard line. Another flag is dropped. So we'll try it again. Here is Bearden's punt. This one's very effective. Jackson at the 25. John nice. Duray thought he was going to get the call for on Ahmad Carroll again, but there is no flag. One that he, he doesn't like, Vern. He doesn't like the silly penalties. Seven penalties today against Alabama, many of them of the variety of jumping offside. Good job of blocking, but then good job downfield. And finally, Norton McKay Lozier from Toronto, Canada. Fourth and 14. Clark hit as he lets it go, and it is dropped to the 21-yard line. That is a shame for Arkansas. Roberto McBride made the hit until they got that victory against Vanderbilt two weeks ago. Now here's Watts, and he's popped behind the line. Hit by Jermaine Petty, the middle linebacker, number 40. He was a firefighter for all of his professional life. Nice high punch. Bearcats called. Taken inside the 20th and 17-yard line by Marvin Jackson. Second down and one, 426 to go in the game. Clark. Richard Smith with another catch. Herschel Bolden wrestles him out of bounds. Nice job getting out of bounds. Scorehand and harass Zach Clark to keep it in. Clark goes from the spread. Now the pressure forces him coming wide right. David Daniel, and what a pop by Gerald Dixon. Mark Pierce, the freshman from Weatherford, Texas, and Gerald Dixon, number four. Clark will put it up, delivers it, and it is intercepted. intercepted. Had to wait and see what the uh, decision was by the uh, official. Roberto McBride is the guy who got the interception and it looked like just a situation where he wanted the ball a little bit more than the receiver. Zach Clark, they try to roll him out on this fourth down, limits the field. And Roberto McBride just cuts right in front of Sparky Hamilton to make the interception. Hamilton concerned about getting the yardage for the first down and McBride able to get right in front of him and come up with the football. So that process is in the works. They're in the process of making their response. Here's Jackson out of one tackle and into another and down at the 24. And uh, Tim Brando said on the pregame show the healing, that the healing began. Here's Jared Johnson, number 96. And uh, we all remember. Intercepted. Here goes Thurman Ward. Thurman Ward scores. Twenty seconds left in this one. And they will bring it out. Richardson. Who's down? And the knee was down at the 11-yard line. Well, the Crimson Tide puts a W into the season record loss. They win at 31-10 with two defensive touchdowns. Reggie Miles, fumble return. Thurman Ward, interception return. And then the Watts to Millen's 39-yard pass. 